จอพาสบแลนด์ Vlogmas Good morning, friends and fam. We just got back from the 5K this morning. I still have the lovely <laughs> band mark on my forehead from the run. I also have mosquito bites here, here, and so you can see I was not exaggerating yesterday. I think I have six or seven on this arm, and then about eight or nine on this arm as you rotate around and various ones on my legs. I think I counted 21 in total this morning. Um, they started itching last night, so last night really sucked. <laughs> Since today is day five, I thought I would share with you my favorites in five categories of holiday items. So we're gonna go over my favorite food and drink items, my favorite clothing items, movies, music, and my favorite ornaments. Hubby just got back with the groceries, so we're gonna get those put away, and I will talk to you about my favorite food and drinks for the holidays. When it comes to food and drink, my three favorites in that category historically, number three would be a glass of eggnog with a candy cane. Now, eggnog is one of the trickier items that I've seen companies struggle with in trying to get right when it comes to a vegan version of that. So this year we are gonna be trying this vegan eggnog don't know how it is yet, but I'm gonna give it a try with a candy cane. Luckily, most candy canes are already vegan, so no issue there. Um, my second favorite would be a cup of nice hot cocoa with marshmallows. Luckily, Trader Joe's has vegan marshmallows, and what I'm gonna do in one of my upcoming videos is I'm gonna taste test a few different vegan hot cocos to see which one we like best. There are a couple we've tried before, but um, there are a lot of new ones on the market now, so I'm gonna order three or four of those and see which one we like best, but I do love a cup of hot cocoa. And the number one thing that I love at Christmas time as far as food and drinks are some Christmas cookies that my hubby makes. I think they're called snowball cookies. I'll put a picture up, um, but we were able to veganize that recipe and they are delicious. When it comes to my favorites for holiday clothes, the first one is the shirt that I'm wearing right now. And it's kind of adorable, but also kind of hideous. And that's one of the things I like about it. It's this really comfortable, fleecy, soft, buttery type of hoodie. I stumbled across it at Walmart a couple of years ago and I was like, oh, it's got unicorns and they're red and green Santa themed, I'll get it. And it is so comfortable. <laughs> and again, it's kind of hideous as far as the design, but I don't know, I love it. I wear it every year. It's it's the most comfortable, cozy, just Christmassy thing. My second favorite item is my Mean Girls Glen Coco For For You Glen Coco shirt. I found this several years ago at Target and I've been wearing it every year since. And last but not least, my favorite clothing item is my Christmas Chuck Taylors. I have had these puppies since I was in high school. And again, something that I wear every single year. We've still got a little cleanup left to do as far as things to put away after having decorated. We just kind of left it for most of the week um, in the living room, knowing that we were still picking and choosing some things to put around the house. So we've got to put away our gift wrap stuff here. We'll keep that in the garage until it's time to use it to wrap gifts. And then I've got the couch items here still. So the areas of the sectional that we took apart, we're gonna make some space in the garage for, we're gonna wrap them in plastic and then get those in there so that they're out of the way.
when it comes to holiday movies, I couldn't really think of any like favorites, I, a top three even. There are movies that we watch that I enjoy and I like and they're okay, but I don't know that I really have a top three. And I think what I enjoy varies by year. We always have the quintessential stuff running on the TV as background noise, like a uh, Christmas story, but uh, that movie I can't sit through watching straight through anyway. But there are some of the movies that are the debated movies, whether they're Christmas movies or not. I think they're Christmas movies that I do like are things like Die Hard. I like Mean Girls. Um, I like watching, you know, The Santa Claus. That's a cute one. I don't like any of the sequels. Well, the second one's not bad. Yeah, the second one's not bad. But I guess there's really only one that stands out to me that I definitely would say is my favorite holiday movie, and that's Elf, starring Will Ferrell. I can watch that movie over and over again, and I, I love it every time. I just like to smile. Smiling's my favorite. When it comes to music, this is also another one where I was kind of like, I, do I have favorites? I was trying to think to myself if I do or not, but um, I narrowed it down and I would say coming in at number three would be Gala PV's I Want a Hippopotamus for Christmas. I have loved that one since I was a little kid and I often make jokes that my gooser is my hippopotamus that I got for Christmas a couple years back. So um, that's one that I, I really do adore. My number two would be an oldie, which is by Ella Fitzgerald and Louis Armstrong, Baby It's Cold Outside. Now, I know that song comes with some controversy or whatever, but back in the day, I don't think it was intended that way. And regardless of whether you like the lyrics or not, both of those voices are voices that I could just listen to all day. So I absolutely love that version of the song. And then I guess my number one would be 12 Days of Christmas by Straight No Chaser. I think it's just creative, you know, and I, I like the spin that they put on it, so I really do enjoy that song. But again, it's not a situation where I had super solid favorites in mind, and if you ask me next year, I don't know if my answer would be the same. Now that we've got the living room cleaned up and the garage a little more organized, we're gonna go ahead and put up some of the things we need to put up to finish up the gym that I started the other day. So we're gonna get the TV bracket off of the wall and then go ahead and mount this bracket. Right now it's just sitting on some hooks that I had there prior. So we're gonna get that stuff mounted and that way I can go ahead and clean up this mess of items that are still just sitting on the floor. Now, when it comes to ornaments, there were clear favorites there for me. Let me show you on our tree. Number three on my list is this ornament right here. And these guys are just booping noses. Um, I think Hallmark called it mom and dad. But when we first bought this ornament, we actually weren't parents, but we used to always touch noses like this. We called it noozling back in the day. I don't know what they call it now, nose boop, I guess. But um, when we first bought this ornament, we used to hang it on our tree every year, but we would hang it facing the other direction because we weren't parents and it says mom and dad on the front. So we would always hang it this way. So it was really special the first year that we had Darren because we were able to go ahead and put it on facing the correct direction. So yeah, that's my number three favorite. My number two favorite is actually a series of ornaments which are these Wallace sleigh bells and we got our first one the year we got married and we get one every year ever since so we now have 21 of them on our Christmas tree. And then my number one favorite is also another series of ornaments and that is these Swarovski crystal snowflakes. So again, somewhat of a holiday tradition that we created. We got our first one the first year our son was born, 
and have gotten one every year ever since. I don't know if the camera does it justice as far as the way that the snowflakes pick up the lights in the Christmas tree and just reflect all of the light, but they're beautiful. And now we have 17 of them on our tree. Our tree doesn't really have any particular theme. We just put ornaments that represent things that we love and that are going on. Some make it on every year, others don't. But we just try to keep it fun and, you know, put on whatever we feel like putting on. And that concludes the holiday favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed that. If you have any favorites you want to list in the comments down below, please do. I'm sure I missed a ton of good movies and songs out there, but like I said, it probably changes every year. Um, but yeah, so we are going to just finish up the chores and the things we need to get done around the house. I am definitely going to do some editing because <laughs> I do that every day now, <laughs> and I think that's going to be my December through Christmas, is editing every day. Uh, but I'm loving it so far. I hope these are coming out good for you guys. As always, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you on day six!